Dependability isn't a piece of hardware, it's peace of mind. It's the confidence you get from knowing that every time you get behind the wheel, you're in a vehicle that's capable and reliable. Dependability isn't driving just any brand. It's driving the number one most dependable mass market brand three years in a row by J.D. Power. Welcome to another edition of Wild Breakaway presented by Luther Kia of Bloomington. With Mark Parrish, I'm Audra Martin. Tonight, the Wild found themselves down to 2-0 in the third period, but found a way to battle back. Got right back in this one, forcing overtime eventually the shootout, where unfortunately they came up short, having to settle for one point against the Blues. Boy, the Wild showed a ton of resiliency. Didn't look like they had a whole lot of energy the first couple of periods. Thank God we got a Kirill Kaprizov on our team that found a way being down 2 0. Who else? You look for your superstars. First of all, the first superstar down at the other end was having an amazing night, keeping this game within reach. And here's the other one, Kaprizov finding Marco Rossi in front. Rossi really kind of tucked himself into a, painted himself into a corner there, still found a five hole on Bennington. And then this set play. My Lord, what a beautiful set play. I think we're going to be seeing some. Probably seeing a team or two in the state tourney next year trying that next year for the high school kids. What a play. I like it. So that is a now two games to one advantage for the Blues in the season series. Team that we will see here again in a couple of days. More on that in a second. Uh, but the Wild didn't have an opportunity on the power play. That's never a great thing. And the Blues able to cash in on one of their two opportunities on the man advantage. Here's what John Heinz, though, had to say about how his team stayed in this one, found a way to battle back, and at least walk away with one point. We can slice it and dice it all we want, but when you look in these games where they matter and, and the pushback and the ability to uh, handle some adversity within the game and then come back in the third period with the type of game that we played and they'd be able to push back. I think that's a that's a, I'm, I'm, I, I like that part of it. And now we got to continue to uh, we got to continue to move forward. You know, we we wanted two points. We got one. And uh, now we got to take some lessons from this one. And now it's all about Anaheim. And there is that game against the Ducks, a team the Wild did take advantage of. Take down just a couple days ago. So it's uh, the continuation of the three-game road trip on Tuesday in Anaheim, Wednesday, a battle with the LA Kings, and then a return to downtown St. Paul for another huge Central Division collision against the visiting St. Louis Blues on Saturday. A little matinee hockey in St. Paul. We look forward to seeing you for that game on Saturday. Enjoy those two out in California. And we appreciate you joining us on this edition of Wild Breakaway presented by Luther Kia of Bloomington.